Hey everyone, Kelsey here and welcome back to Gal. Today, finally, Adobe has made the speech to text feature available to all users in the latest update of Premiere Pro. So if you go to the Adobe Creative Cloud app and you update to version 15.4, you will now have a text panel there where you can use speech to text. Now I've done videos about speech to text before, but that was when it was in a closed beta or it was in the public beta and you had to use the beta version of the app. But now it's in the full version, which is really exciting. So if you're new to speech to text and you're like, what the heck is speech to text? Well, essentially it will auto generate a transcript of your sequence for you and add captions to your sequence so you don't have to use any third-party apps all the captioning is done within Premiere Pro so the way it works is you just open up the text panel and you can generate captions and it uses the cloud so you need to be connected to the internet to generate the captions using Adobe Sensei and then from there you can edit the speakers you can edit if there's any errors in the transcript and you can add captions and stylize them. And I actually made a pack of different captioning styles that you can get from my store and you can import them into your project panel and they will appear as different captioning styles that you can apply to your video. And the best part is, and this is exciting because a lot of you have asked this, what's the pricing, right? Are they gonna charge extra in addition to the Adobe Creative Cloud plan? Well, after all the testing, Adobe has decided with our Adobe Creative Cloud plan, you can use the speech to text auto captioning for free within reasonable use. And that means that essentially for all of your weekly projects that are just the videos that you're putting out, you can use it for free. Now, if you have bulk videos, like an archive of hundreds of hours of videos that you need to transcribe and caption, that's a different story. And they would likely charge for that primarily for enterprise plans only. So if you're enterprise, they will be releasing that data soon. That's what they told me. But for individual plans and basic team plans, you can use this for free for your daily workflow. And a special thanks to Envato Elements for sponsoring today's video. Elements is a game changer for me. You can get unlimited audio, video, photo, and templates, and they're really easy to use for your videos. And I'll tell you more about them later on. You can use my link below to get 70% off your first month. Without further ado, let's show you how this new captioning workflow works inside of Premiere Pro. So once you have your final video in your timeline ready to be transcribed, you can go to window and select the text panel. And from here, just click transcribe sequence. For audio analysis, there are a few options. First, you can choose to only transcribe the clips that are marked as dialogue. And to mark clips as dialogue, all you need to do is select the audio clip in your timeline and go to essential sound panel. And here you can label this clip as dialogue so Premiere Pro knows it's a dialogue clip. Or you can simply transcribe the audio on the track as the full mix or just audio track one. Right now, Adobe has 13 different languages to choose from, from this dropdown that you can see. And if you don't see your language, Adobe is continually working to add more. So then you can choose to transcribe only the in and out points if you've added specific in and out points in your timeline. And if you have multiple speakers, you can opt in for Adobe to recognize when different speakers are talking. Now, I only have myself speaking in this video, so I will not check this option. And also make sure that you're connected to the internet because after you click transcribe, Adobe sends the audio files to the cloud for processing with Adobe Sensei that automatically produces the text from the speech. So then it will begin to auto transcribe. Right now, this video I have is one minute in duration and I timed it and it took about 35 seconds to transcribe. And once it's done, on the left, you can see that it produced speakers and all of the text. If you wanna edit the speaker, you can just click here to edit it and you can change it to the speaker name. Then from the actual transcription, you'll notice that when you click on the different words, as you click, it'll take you to that particular moment in the timeline when I'm speaking. So all of this text is time coded and responsive. So if you click on it, it takes you to that exact point in the video. From the transcript, I can see just a few errors that I need to update, and that's really easy to fix. Just double click on the text and you can begin to edit right here in the box until you fix all of the errors. So you might be asking how accurate is Adobe Sensei in transcribing the transcription for you? Like, is it 99% accurate, is it 98? It really depends on the speaker, but I can say from my experience, 
auto transcribing through the closed beta and the public beta, there's really only a few errors that comes up. And usually it's if I'm saying something like 4K, sometimes it'll spell out the word four instead of the number four. But as you upload and you do this, the machine gets more powerful and powerful. And it's pretty much up to par with any auto transcription program that you've probably used. You'll also notice that there's a search box here. If you type in any word, let's say I type in YouTube, it'll take me to that moment in the video where I say YouTube. Now, this search feature is not super useful for this short one minute video because I can pretty much see all the text in the panel. But if you have a longer 30 to 60 minute interview where you need to find where somebody says a particular phrase or a word, you can go to the search box and type in that word. And it'll take you right to that point in the video and it will just make you easy to take that sound bite and use it in your video edit. So it can be used for captioning, but also as a research and search tool to help you edit as well. Another thing that's really cool with longer interviews, if somebody is talking, they likely will say, um, uh, longer pauses. And so it, the transcript doesn't transcribe those pauses or those ums. So if you want to have the transcript display those pauses, you can go up to the ellipsis tool, click on it and have the pauses be displayed as three dots. So that way you'll know when there's a pause and it can help you edit. So after I've done that here, you can see I have a fully edited video without pauses. So I don't have any of those pauses displayed in my transcript. You can also export the transcript from this ellipsis menu item here, and you can save it as a text file. So once everything is ready in the transcript, you can press the button create captions. Since the beta, this new captioning window has improved based on our feedback. So now you'll be able to choose the caption preset from the get go. And for social media, I'm just going to choose the subtitle default, but you'll also see other options to choose in the drop down menu. You'll also be able to import a specific preset that you need. And style, you'll also be able to create your own captioning and styles from the Essential Graphics panel or import any styles such as my own captioning presets that I've created. And the style just includes the font, the color, shadows, or backgrounds. And I will show you this in just a moment. And then you can choose how long you want each captioning line to be by character length and the minimum duration. You can also choose to have gaps between the captions. I personally like no gaps, so I'm going to keep mine at zero so it's fully snapped together. And lastly, you can choose if you want your subtitle lines to be in a single or double line stacked on top of each other. I like single, so I'm going to choose that and then I'll hit create. So this will just take a few seconds and then you'll see the subtitle track was made here in the timeline. When you click on the captions line from the text panel, it will take you to that exact caption in the timeline and it will highlight it for you. So you can have it selected and then you can edit the style. So you can go up to the essential graphics panel and here you can update the text font and style and you can update the appearance such as the fill. You can add a stroke, a background or even a shadow. And then from the track style, click create style and this will update the style that you made to all of the captions in the track. So you don't have to do it to each individual captioning clip here. You'll also see in the project panel, this is where it saved the style. So you can right click on this style and export it as a dot premiere textile file. And you can always drag and drop this style into your project panel before you begin the captioning process. So that way when it's imported, as you generate your captions, it'll appear under the track style dropdown. So what I've done is I've actually created a, a pack of 10 different captioning styles that you can get from my store. You can download it and you can drag and drop it into the Premiere Pro project panel. And then when you go to update your captions, all of these text styles will appear from the dropdown in the Essential Graphics panel. And if you are a patron, if you've joined my Patreon community, you will get these 10 styles for free. And I put details just down below. And once you apply a style, if you decide to make any changes to the style, then if you click on this little arrow up, it'll push all of these changes to all of the captions in the track, which is really, really cool. It saves you a lot of time. So you can really customize these styles with ease. So the key to making these captions great is just choosing a great bold font that's easily readable and 
non-serif as well, so it doesn't have any kind of curly corners. One more thing that I want to show you is that the captions here in the timeline function just like video clips, so you can move them around and drag them out just like standard video clips. At this time though, you cannot add effects. If you try to drag transitions, it will not work. And this is something I'd like to see in the next update. You can also turn off the visibility of the captions and right click here on the subtitle to add another track or delete the track. For example, you may want to add another track for a different language translation on top. So to export the captioning file, you can go to the ellipsis from the text panel and select export to .srt file. To burn the captions in the video, you need to go to file export media, then go to the captions tab and select burn captions into video and then export and you're good to go. So that's all for the captioning workflow. And now I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Invato Elements. So Elements is a really unique creative platform for creators. It literally has any type of asset that you can imagine. Do you need a new logo reveal, for example, or a new YouTube kit for a new channel that you're starting? You can search for a template, whether it's an After Effects or Premiere Pro, they even have Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve, and you can download that template and you can change it to your brand colors, you can update the font, and then you will have that to use forever in any video that you need. And this is something that I do whenever I wanna update my logo reveal or I need to update some motion graphics in my videos. It's just really easy to use. And let's say you might need a background track or sound effects for some effects in your video. It has a ton of different music tracks and a really great library of sound effects that I use if I ever need like a little pop-up animation. And if I need stock video or stock photos for thumbnails, it has it there too. So there's really everything you need all in one place. And thanks to Elements, they set up a unique link just down below where you can get 70% off your first month. But if you've already tried Elements and then you're starting again, so you can't get the first month free, I do recommend signing up for the annual plan because you'll actually save 50% in the long term. So if you use it month to month, you'll end up paying a lot more. So I recommend the annual plan. So thanks so much to Invato Elements for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope that the new captioning workflow is useful to you. It's definitely been a game changer for me for adding captions to YouTube. So that way I have my file ready when I upload. And with YouTube, it's really important to have captions because your captions become part of the searchable content on YouTube and it makes it more accessible to everyone. So if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And don't forget to become a patron if you want to get the captioning styles for free. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. Bye!